Chris with 4AM Finance, bringing it to you here from Westlake Village, California, where it is extremely dark and it's getting to be cold. I feel like winter time is coming. You've got Halloween right around the corner, uh, but let's jump right into the price action here. Following up on our video from Tuesday, uh, we did meet our, um, our target. And I'm going to just pull that out here on the CMEs off this measure move here from uh, 11980 up to uh, what well, we had it measured out to about 14. One, uh, we hit, you know, close enough is close enough, 13.8 or 13.9, 14,000. Uh, we ticked up very close to that region. So I'm just backing it off. Uh, I'm going to go over, uh, let's, let's take a look at the uh, higher tame, higher time frame ranges and um, what I got here is uh, what I'm looking at on a daily is uh, to the upside uh, actually let's let's bring this down to a four hour if we get a two hour four hour closure above 13,439 or 450 I'm looking for extension up to 13,781 uh, if we do get a breakdown below 13,050 on a four hour or a two hour, I am looking for that extension down to, I'm going to move this up to uh, 12,850. 12, uh, if this area does break here, let's call it right here, um, we're you know likely to uh, tag back down. Yeah, it looks like. You know, if this if this region doesn't hold, uh, we could come back down to about twelve thousand dollar base. So, uh, lots at stake here. I'm going to be keeping an eye on the weekly closure for CMEs, which is coming up here uh, today. And I want to remind everybody: um, if we are continuing to close above the topside Trollinger band at thirteen thousand two fifty on what is that? Uh, let's take that off and take a look. Let's take a look here. So as long if we continue to cl close above there, $13,250, you can see uh, what kind of moves this has produced. So I'll just put this back on. Uh, go back to uh, Bitcoin. First closes along the top side Trollinger band right here. And we produced a very nice move of, let's see here. So if you took the move from the first closure above the top side Trollinger band, that gave you a, how many bars did that give you? So run from 5,000 to, oh, it's the wrong ruler. That's why, excuse me, guys. Let me, I'm not the best at this here. Bear with me just a second. Uh, we're going to use this tool. Not the fit retracement, the ruler. Measure from the first break of the topside trillinger band. Uh, move, measure move there was 169%. Let's go back here to this, and I'll bring this out on log scale. Oh, let's go on bitstamp. And we had this move. First closure here on the top side. Oh, let's see it. First closure here on the top side. Trillinger banner. Or did we just start? Oh, look, there's a little fake out, but this move here, let's just measure from the top. That was a 22% move. Okay, let's do this one. That is a 31% move. This is on a weekly. We got to move up to, that's 30%. We got 41%. Um, you can see, you know, 
as long as we maintain closures on that topside Trillinger band, I'm going to remain bullish and watch this weekly closure. That's going to be very important coming up here. So let's take another look at, uh, so that's, that's kind of looking at the macro. Bear with me where my screen adjusts here. And you got to put it back on auto. Okay. What is going on here? I think we just went way back in the time. The annals is in the history of Bitcoin. But uh, this is typically a sell signal uh, when you do get across below the exponential. The RSI crosses that. And we came down from an 80 read. I don't know if this run is over here. Um, we're still carrying these higher lows, staying above the uh, red 10 simple on the daily. That's very bullish. You can see we ride the red 10 simple on the daily through all these bull markets, sustain above it. So as long as we are holding above there on a daily, again, I'm going to stay bullish there. Um, let's take a look at the 12 hour. Do we see anything there? Yeah, Stokes are coming down, but we're going to be meeting a trend line here uh, that goes back all the way from September. And uh, you can notice this here. We're going to be approaching the uh, bullish control zone. So um, this is very, very important to watch here. Um, this does tend to catch the momentum. So if we do see a drive turn around there, um, that could be a good sign. Another thing we want to look at here is our four hour. And I'm going to jump here. Just take a look if I see anything on the four hour. Um, we got higher lows, higher lows, uh, RSI is, so we got higher lows. looks like we're coming up on some hidden bullish divergence here. Uh, we'll see if this is already played out. Again, uh, if we don't get a closure on a four hour or a two hour above this 13,369 pivot, I'd, I'd, uh, I'd be looking for a range to get filled out somewhere between here at, uh, 13,050. And if we break there, I'm looking to the downside of, 12,895. Um, if, if we, if we do close, I'm going to throw on a secondary in indicator, the uh, Bollinger bands. If we do close below on a four hour, uh, 12,674, uh, that's going to be a very strong warning signal that, uh, we could play out some serious downside, you know, maybe even down to $11,000 base. So keep, keep an eye on that, uh, but let's go ahead and jump on to some other things that good indicators for what Bitcoin's going to be doing. So, you know, uh, as dollar is rallying here, typically Bitcoin going down, we have seen the downside play out over the past few days, along with gold. Let's take a look at gold and see as the dollar is rallying here, you've seen gold just really... Uh, get hammered. And as I mentioned uh, in our prior video, if we did have a two hour, four hour closure below this uh, 18, what is that? That uh, 1890 pivot, we would likely touch our bottom, our next zone down here at 1862. What I'm going to do with this guys is move it down just a tad to the bottom side Trollinger band. If we get a daily closure below there, um, I would be looking for uh, at the very least, 1816. Yeah, what is that? Right there, 1825 below there. Uh, I'm gonna look for our next downside target at about 1784. Oh, great buying opportunity if gold hits 1784. Again, this isn't financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, uh, but um, that you know that purple 200 day uh, and the white. 200 simple, very uh, strong pivot point. Typically a uh, great buying opportunity. You saw one here, right? Uh, you saw one here, uh, you saw one there. So uh, would be looking for that to get hit if the dollar wants to rally because they're not getting the stimulus through. You know, we, we don't get a stimulus through, I think, uh, and they're pricing in a blue wave. You got more people Pricing in higher corporate taxes, I think we could see some real volatility. And that's what I am forecasting, some eminent volatility 
um, in the market. So NASDAQ, uh, let's take a look at this on a daily and take some of these things off. And let's get these off here and just look at NASDAQ on the daily. Let's take it out and this is looking pretty droopy guys, pretty droopy. Um, we are rallying back up. Let's throw on, uh, sorry, that's Dixie. Let's go ahead and get on NASDAQ. I apologize guys. Um, we'll take a look at the dollar in a second here. So again, uh, I, we did look for this target to get hit at uh, 11,350. We'd say if it broke that we would be heading down to about 11,022. Uh, if this area breaks, I'm looking for, um, you know, the doom and gloomers to be out partying, uh, 10,650. Uh, I do believe that would hold, um, you know, might be able to bring this up a bit actually to uh, right here, which I'll go ahead and put my trusty drawing tool on there. And we'll go ahead and I'm gonna get a sip of water. All right. Um, let's go here. So let's throw on our secondary indicator. Yeah, if we do, uh, let's take a look on a weekly. Yeah, we could come down all the way down and test this yellow 21. Uh, probably looking for a big bounce there. We're getting the bounty territory right here at 11,015 and 10,072 on NASDAQ. Now let's go ahead and take a look at SPY. We kind of got the same thing going along. Uh, pretty droopy here. We are, we're, we were looking for this target at 3,262. Um, if this breaks, I'm looking for this to get hit at 31.98. That breaks. We get a. If we do get an open and a close below this bottom side trolling your band, uh, you know what that means. You could be touching the bottom side trolling your band. Uh, so eminent volatility coming, and that should make for some great trading opportunities. Because uh, we don't care if it's going up or down, we can catch both sides if we know the direction of the market. And let's jump on to anything else we want to take a look at here. Why don't we look at some of our favorites like Tesla? And I am looking for this to come down to 388 bucks. If that breaks, uh, we could see a significant, you know, further breakdown of 340, 350 uh, at the moment. Uh, if we get back above this hump here, 421, uh, could be heading back up to target of 460 on a daily, probably gets it. <clears throat> and should be looking at the weekly closers too. That's another thing I'll pop back on NASDAQ here. I want you to look at on a weekly and um, actually take a look at the monthly here. Now here's a great indicator too. If we close the month or just tick below last month's low, I would be looking for a target down at 99, uh, call it uh, 10,138. Um, and probably a big bounce right there. So that's important. The month is closing here in a couple of days. So we'll keep an eye on that. Um, and same thing with uh, this one here. If we do see just a tick below 3198, matter of fact, might as well put an alert on there. Uh, if we do see that, I'm going to grab an alert right there and put that right there. Let's see if I can get it done here. Come on. There we go. Uh, I don't know if that's going to do it for me, but uh, it's giving me a hard time. Hard time today, guys. All right, let's take a look at good old, uh, good old gold and silver. Those are those are uh, another one here. Tick below that last month's low of twenty one fifty five. Oh, serious downside pleasure down to nineteen eighty three. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that off just in case. We got a mark there and a target there. 
And as far as, as long as the dollar doesn't break down here, um, you know, the dollar continues to rally, which we expected, um, you know, silver could play some more downside down to 21 if this region breaks. breaks. Let's take a look here on a daily. Yeah, this would be the region to look for. Somewhere right in there. So we'll plot that out at 21 spot 42. And let's go here. So look at this support right here. That's that's a nice support level. If we get a bounce up here, I, you know, I could easily see silver heading back to 25 bucks. Um, on a four hour, let's take a look here. Uh, does look like higher lows, lower lows, lower low, higher lows. I don't see any uh, bullish or bearish divergence forming. Let's go ahead and get back on to our traditional markets. We got Apple. Looks like it wants to come down to about. Let's take a look on it daily. Down to our target here of. We'll call that 108. Uh, we get a move back or closure back above 114. Uh, could head back up to 118, uh, but I am looking for it to come down. And Microsoft. Microsoft is already coming down. Uh, looks like it wants to oh come back down to about 190. Uh, I expect a big bounce there. Unless we get some kind of crazy stimulus package between here and the election, I don't expect it to happen. Uh, let's take a look at uh, Ethereum. Let's get us some Ethereums. Ethereum's probably going to do whatever Bitcoin does, uh, but if we do break this region here, uh, could be looking at a test down to 354. Um, we get a break above here at 385. Uh, or sorry, back above 416, I'd be looking back for a move, probably back to 451. Uh, that's on a daily or, yeah, let's take a look at the weekly too. Um, let's jump into Link. Link is looking a little bit uh, droopy, a little bit, I don't know, I, I, I'm not a big fan. We're going to have to watch the uh, monthly close here and see what happens. Uh, let's, yeah. Don't know how this is going to play out, but again, probably uh, altcoins are probably going to do what Bitcoin do does to a lesser extent to the upside, to a greater extent to the downside. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, I would be keeping an eye on, you know, again, Stokes are crossing down and RSI losing the exponential, uh, getting kicked almost out of the bullish control zone. So uh, yeah, link not, I don't know, what to, I don't know know what to make of this one at the moment and let's go on to our just curious what's cardano looking at yeah cardano more down more down all right um i think we're gonna end it off there uh we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up with the uh bitcoin and our lower time frame ranges again um the break above 13,373 and I'm looking for extension back up to about 13.6. Okay, if we're looking at uh, our downside target here of uh, a break below 13,050, extension down to 12.8, 12.9. Uh, probably put it in right there. Uh, if that region does not hold, probably going to get a tag down, maybe a bounce, 12,572. Bounces along the way, but ultimately down towards $12,000 base. Uh, that's what I'd be looking for if this region does not hold. And uh, I'm wishing you guys a blessed and happy day. We'll bring this back to you uh, over the weekend. Take care.